Now, a kit for flying. A number of things are essential for the well kit flyer. Now, number one, a parachute which is preferably fire resistant, but most definitely fire and heat proof. Number two, three or four litres of purified water if you don't want to die of thirst before you're rescued. You may also need to put yourself or your parachute out should you or it catch fire. Now, if you're concerned with weight and excess baggage fees, you can, of course, take dehydrated water, but water of warning is not satisfactory for putting out fire. Number three, very important, fireproof suit, preferably not obvious, as it tends to make the other passengers nervous. Another important consideration, it should contain radar absorbing of materials, as you do not want to be mistaken for a low-flying object when you are parachuting to safety. Number four, bring your floaties. You can wear them for quick inflation. Do not rely, uh, rely on onboard flotation devices, as they may not be tight. And you remember, you can always inflate your floaties as you're hopefully floating down safely. In some cases, it may add extra buoyancy in the air, providing a smoother descent. Uh, number five, in some extreme circumstances, you may need to have, or at least heat proof, underwear as you need to prepare the family equipment at all costs. Very important in the case of fire and extreme heat. Number six, an ACR RecuLink 406 portable personal locator beacon. Essential. Though a word of warning, it may make aircraft staff nervous if you carry it on in your carry-on luggage. The best square away on your person Besides, you don't want to spoil someone else's trip, trip by making them overly nervous. Optional extras. Number one, two litres of holy water in case you get nervous at any stage. And then you can, of course, bless yourself for reassurance and, of course, deliverance. In this case, holy water in the form of dehydrated water is not satisfactory, as you can't sprinkle around in a great flurry. Also, in, in extreme need, holy water can be drunk but will not give divine intervention in these circumstances. <clears throat> uh, number two, uh, escape equipment. A large camp can opener is your best option, as I feel a battery operated grinder of any kind will be a little off footing to some of the other passengers. Then again, it would make some of the passengers very nervous, including the airline staff, so I really do not think it would be allowed under any, any circumstances. Any form of gas cutting equipment is, of course, is totally out of the question. A large personal can opener is the best option. Thank you.